What's up everybody? Today we're actually going to be installing our new air fuel ratio sensor and gauge from AEM. Um, some of the audio in my video actually got ruined so I'm actually refilming this intro. I'll do some uh, voiceovers uh, but let's get into the project. Let's go. All right I'm gonna do my best with a voiceover here. This is your AEM air fuel ratio gauge. You need a mark a marker to mark where you want to put the hole. Hole punch to start the hole and then you need a 7 8 countersink bit to drill the hole for your bong. So pick one of these up at Lowe's. Next we're going to do an unboxing with the AAM air fuel ratio gauge. Show you guys um, everything that's in the box. So let's do that here. When I'm opening this box, I'm noticing that the packaging is really, really nice and um, everything seems very high quality, so that's fantastic. So open the box and then you're going to see that uh, the gauge is uh, attached to the box itself. So unscrew that and get that out of there. Uh, then you're going to have all your wires. Here is the uh, wiring harness to actually connect to the power source and then you have your wiring harness that plugs into the sensor. You got plenty of room there to run that anywhere and then that's the sensor itself um, that will screw into the bong and then in the little package is the bong itself uh, that will need to be welded to your exhaust pipe. In this shot we're actually going to get under the car and investigate where we should actually put the sensor. It's important to note that you want to make sure that the sensor is in a position that the wiring is not going to be uh, touching anything or as far as away from the heat source as possible um, and then you want to make sure that that sensor is not um, uh, pointing down um, so make sure you're in a good spot and then mark it here with a marker where you want uh, that to go so that then you can drill the hole nice and easy So in this clip we get our 7 8 countersink bit and um, just making some initial kind of measurements and in taking a look at it making sure that it's going to fit nicely so that's what I'm doing here um, and then finding like I said making sure that that spot on the exhaust pipe is in a position where it's going to get a good reading um, and then it's not going to be at the bottom so that's what we did. We're also just here cu cutting off a piece of the heat shielding so that we can get to the core of the pipe. So I do that here. And then we want to start actually tapping the hole. I found a better tap in my garage to tap that a little bit more easily. And you see me doing that here. Just making sure I can get that hole started. Uh, then we actually use the countersink drill bit. This drill bit was really, really good. It was super easy to get that thing going and um, putting it in there. I actually started with a little drill uh, bit to get the hole started first um, to make it easier. And then here's the countersink. My son is actually filming this shot, so let me know in the comments below if you, you liked his filming. He's fantastic. He loves to help me out in the garage. Uh, these car projects are perfect to connect with your son and get him off the video games. Let me know if you guys are having problems with those video games like I am. Uh, he did a great job getting the shot. You go all the way in to the biggest hole at the 7 eighths for your 7 eighths countersink and it's it works perfect. I'm checking to make sure that um, it the bung fit perfectly. So you see here I'm just like checking that. The uh, countersink part of the bung will just fit right in to that hole um, and the outer lip will stay on the outside and it'll be perfect for uh, getting it welded which I'm gonna do here in the next shot. What type of welder is this? Uh, so it's just a basic Everlast uh, MIG welder. MIG, yep, okay. Yeah, we do TIG a lot but for something like this, a small O2 bung, especially considering the quickness of it, yeah. um, MIG is the better way or Make it a better way to go. Excellent. Very cool. 
Yeah, I was thinking about picking one of these up from like Harbor Freight. I mean, the it's kind of what the old does. You get what you pay for. Um, for learning, it would probably be just fine. Okay. Um, but I've heard different things about Harbor Freight and the functionality of them. Okay. I picked up one to try and uh, arc weld on my gooseneck trailer, and it did not work so well. Okay. But, uh, awesome. Well, I appreciate all the, the advice and everything. Your shop is so cool, man. Thank you. Yeah. Cut that shit out. Look at that. Greg did a fantastic job. You guys need to come up here. They'll take care of you. TX Custom Auto. They're working on everything. Look at this skyline right here. Super sick. All right, guys. As you saw in the clip, we got our bong um, welded on there. So let's get the exhaust pipe installed back on the car. All right guys, we've got the pipe in reinstalled. And now, if I can get up under here, we're going to um, plug the sensor, put the sensor in, the screws right in there. All right, that's a great location. Ended up being really, really good. It's not touching anything, it's out of the way. Um, then what we're gonna do, that we need to actually zip tie this away from the heat as much as we can. So we'll be zip tying it up there and uh, get it away from any heat, zip tie it up and uh, continue with the wiring. All right guys, next we gotta find somewhere to run the harness from the sensor itself up through the engine bay and into the cab. So you need to find an existing hole in the car and on this one in particular, I'm going to run it up behind the engine and over here is, you can see a little hole back here where I have uh, did a harness tuck and it goes down in here and we can actually take this piece off here and run it into the cab. So that's what we're going to do next. Alright, easy as pie. Take out the grommet. I had already done a wire harness tuck so I already have a hole in this thing. It's going to be no big deal to get that through there. All right, just like that, she's through. And then we'll just get her into the car, give it plenty of slack in there, and then just run it up through here. There we go. All right, let's pull her through both ends. All right, let's get up under here and see if we can't see that wire. Oh. Right there, there she is. Easy peasy. We'll just pull that through, and we are actually going to install her where I did a radio delete. This is just a piece of Lexan. We'll install her right there. All right, let's get after it. All right, guys, for the next part of the air fuel ratio gauge installation, we're actually going to be setting up the um, connecting the harness, uh, the power harness to the car. So go over the wires a little bit here for you guys. So the red and the black are the main two here. Red is to power to 12 volt. So you want to connect that to the ACC or ignition on wire. Uh, guys are recommending that you uh, put in a 5 amp fuse in between. So I'm actually going to connect this to um, the radio delete 
uh, harness that I did, I deleted the radio, so that already has a fuse, so we will connect that there. The black is your ground wire, and those are the two that I'm going to be uh, utilizing today. We also have some other wires here that you might use for other applications if you have like a standalone ECU. Um, and that is the uh, green and black uh, and the white and black. These two here, the green and black and white and black. And those are for your campus communications, uh, for your standalone. Um, and then also we have the blue uh, and the white, solid blue and white. Those are for like loggers, for serial communication for like loggers, if you uh, have those. Uh, but we're doing a simple, we just won't need the reading, uh, so we just need to put in the power. Uh, so we'll do the red and the black, and uh, we're going to get that connected in. So we're going to take the car um, where the radio delete is and get inside there and get these connected in. So let's get after it. guys so I've got the radio area pulled out and I'm actually going to tap into the cigarette lighter plug so I've got this blue and red wire is the positive and this white and green wire is the negative uh, I use my handy dandy uh, voltmeter here to test that and I, I have that tested so I'm going to warm up my soldering um, gun and we're going to go to town on this bad boy Next we got to feed the wire that comes in from the sensor into the dash and here's a little pro tip um, to get that through easy. Stick a clothes hanger through and then you can see that clothes hanger easily and then we're going to attach the uh, wire to the clothes hanger and just pull it through so it'll come through really really easy. Alright guys we're going to do some more zip tying. We got to zip tie the harness up and out of the way of heat so that's our goal here is to get it away from heat any kind of heat source so as far as away as we can get it from the heat we got it all zipped up we actually put it underneath some factory ties there up underneath this bad boy here can't even tell that it's in there Got it running up through the factory harness location, in underneath the seats, and in through the radio area. So we're gonna finish wiring it, and we'll be hooking it up soon. All right, boys, we got it all wired up and plugged in. We'll mount it later, because we're actually working on uh, installing a Super AFC as well, which is gonna be mounted in this area. But let's start it and see how she looks. She's almost done heating up. All right, my uh, SC300's got a 2JZ in it, board out cats. Um, and so she's pretty much stuck. Like I said, I'm gonna be stalling a Super FA FAC later. Uh, but right now it's just super stock, so she should be pretty on the money. But uh, this is gonna allow us to tune it. Oh yeah, she needs less fuel at idle for sure. So, all right, it's looking good. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, we're gonna be moving on to the Super AFC and doing some tuning. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you would have done it better or how this helped you. Uh, and if you like the content, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.